You're listening to the Remote Millionaires Podcast, the show for aspiring and established entrepreneurs who want to create and scale six-figure success online without being chained to a job, location, or computer. I'm your host, Tom Gaddis. Let's dive in. Hey, aloha, Tom Gaddis here, and welcome to another episode of the Remote Millionaires Podcast. And I'm gonna have to apologize in advance for my voice. I'm a little under the weather, and uh, it's uh, it's affecting the sinuses and, and all that stuff. So I may sound a little odd this week, but it actually brings up a, a great topic and, and something that I decided to address in this episode because, you know, I was ready to hit this week running and uh, crush a few things that I had on my to-do list and then I got sick. And so it's been a little bit of a setback. I've had to uh, kind of dial back a few things that I'm doing, not, uh, you know, uh, some business things, but also personal things like going to the gym. I've been uh, doing kind of an, an intense diet the past few weeks. And so, uh, you know, it can get very frustrating when we're trying to accomplish things and we face setbacks or, what I see with a lot of students inside Remote Millionaires is life happens, right? Life uh, doesn't really take into account that we're trying to get things done and maybe we have a limited amount of time and all this stuff. It just keeps throwing things at us. And that happens to everyone. Even, I mean, it's amazing when you talk to uh, successful people how many of them have these amazing stories of, of, of setbacks, sometimes small, sometimes huge, sometimes ones that seemed monumental and you think, wow, how did they ever recover from that and go on to have success? There's a couple of things though that I think uh, sets you know, people apart that get through these setbacks. And um, you know, one is you know, really successful people just don't quit. You know, when there's a setback, when things get in the way, they brush themselves off, they refocus and they start moving forward and they try not to be too uh, hard on themselves, right? It just seems like yesterday that I was recording an episode here about resolutions and, and getting 2023 off to the right start, right? Now, here we are in the middle of February and maybe you were gun ho with some resolutions and some things you were going to get done and just, you know, a month and a half later, maybe those things are completely off the rails. Maybe you haven't gotten anything done on them. Maybe they've just went by the wayside and you've been focusing on other stuff, right? So how do we, how do we handle that? First of all, that, that's perfectly normal. Like I said, that happens to everyone. The thing to do is to just make a commitment right now, today, that you're going to refocus and get back on track dust yourself off, make sure you have everything you need to get started on those things. Spend a day maybe just getting the stuff together and say, look, I'm going to start this tomorrow. Better yet, just start it today. Just do something to move towards it today, no matter how small that something is, right? Maybe if it's, you know, if it's uh, prospecting that you are going to be, you are going to do every day and you haven't done it, Maybe the thing you do today is to build a list of 10 people to reach out to tomorrow. Maybe that's the little thing you do. Just build the list. Just take that first little bit of action to get you going. Remind yourself that these types of things are normal. And big life events are big life events. They can sidetrack and derail anyone. If you're going through something extremely hard in your personal life, don't beat yourself up that you're not getting everything done in your business and entrepreneurial journey that you want. That's okay. Time is on your side. Building a business, building this lifestyle that you want, like we do in Remote Millionaires, it is not a short-term journey. It goes on forever. There is no, there is no finish line. There is no finish line. It's an ever- it's an ever ongoing process that we work on every single day. And sometimes we work on it really hard and we're extremely focused and dialed in. And sometimes we're not, but we keep moving forward no matter what. 
So if that's you, if you've experienced some setbacks already in your big plans for 2023, or maybe you've been experiencing some setbacks for a while in your business, maybe you're not feeling well this week like I am, I want you to do a couple of things. Number one, take a breath and just remind yourself that it's okay to be sick. It's okay to have, uh, it's okay to face a setback. What's the important part is how we respond to it. So if you're under the weather, as soon as you start feeling better, you start moving forward, right? Like I took some medicine. As soon as I started feeling better, I sat down to record this episode because it's on my to-do list. I'm going to get it done, right? Even though I'm not feeling well. Tomorrow, I'm going to feel even better. I'm going to go back to the gym. Like we just, we brush ourselves off. We just say, hey, this is the thing that happened. It's okay that it happened. Let me refocus and start moving forward. And if it's been a long time, if it seems like it's been a long time and you just don't know how to get going again, just pick some little teeny tiny action to take today that gets that momentum going. Whether it's making a list of the things you're going to do tomorrow, whether it's like if it's prospecting, creating a list of 10 potential clients you'll reach out to starting this week. Maybe it's uh, reading a book on the subject or the topic that you've been putting off. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just starting to read that book. Maybe it is, uh, if it's fitness related, maybe it's just laying out your workout clothes so tomorrow you put them on and you go to the gym. Maybe it's just taking a five minute walk today. Just a five minute walk today to make that commitment to yourself that you're gonna get this process going again. Look, the setbacks, again, we can't avoid them. They are going to happen. Maybe you're going through one right now. If you're not, you're going to be going through one at some point. So we just have to take a breath, remind ourselves it's normal, and do what we can to push through those setbacks and keep moving forward. Look, I hope this information uh, was valuable to you today. If you're in a setback, I hope it inspires you to do something today to take some action to start to move out of that. And uh, I will see you here next Thursday in the next episode of the Remote Millionaires Podcast. Hey, if what you've heard today on the Remote Millionaires Podcast resonates with you and you want to continue the conversation, then I want to personally invite you to head over to remotemillionaires.com and schedule your free Remote Millionaires business development call. We will analyze your business and show you exactly how to accelerate your results and build a wildly successful business you can run from anywhere. Until next time, Tom Gaddis, signing off.